We have traditionally masks that were uh, caused by nations or by uh, social class and so on. Let's say we have masks of Englishmen, the American mask. We have the uh, masks of poor and the mask of rich. But uh, there is a mask of the character of people. And this, of course, it's constantly done by uh, people in, what, in every society in order to uh, function within the society without having to reveal themselves. Because the revelation is antisocial. The revelation is what's called a personal remark, the emotion the visible emotion has no place in society. And of course, there is something that is useful, it's necessary, but it's also something ugly, because it takes away all the poetry and spontaneity of life away from people. The more organized society, the more you have these masks, masks of happiness, masks of um, uh, youth, or masks of old age, and so on. Do you think people's masks actually show something about what they are really thinking about or what they really feel, or is it simply put on they, automatically? They represent what they are supposed to be, and they are part of the computer system. If uh, you don't fit in certain categories, you are out and you only confuse the computers by inventing a new category and so on. If every man puts on his real face, there wouldn't be any possibility for the computer to, to perform. Do you think that women wear masks? Mr. Steinberg, they put makeup on. That's a kind of mask, isn't it? Yes, well, that's a simple matter, but they also have, when they are in society, when they are with other people, they put on a uh, constant expression. They have invented this uh, rectangular smile. They have invented the uh, octagonal or the several other geometric forms of mouth and eyes and so on. And uh, it's a steady mask uh, representing amusement, happiness, contentment. They don't want to, they don't want to appear. Uh, that there is something else besides this very little bit they give, this 1% or less of their personality. And this is their public appearance, this is their political mask. Now, women used to be, uh, traditionally, the uh, peasants, the mujiks, the uh, poetic part of the uh, society. The men were more involved in parading beards and moustaches and camouflaging themselves with armor and with uniforms and so on. And women, uh, when they put on masks, they imitated like nature, they imitated art. Now, unfortunately, uh, women imitate photography so that they uh, look like uh, they come out of fashion magazines and out of Playboy magazines. And this is a disgrace because there is such a variety in the world. And why should uh, women appear to be of four or five uh, Types. Types only. It's ridiculous. Well, now, I have here a few masks. I'll try them on you. The, uh, this mask here is a mask of uh, a, I call this mask the Sleeping Beauty. This is the, uh, let me see you. Very nice. A uh, person <laughs> defined, a young girl defined by her shadows, she is not, she's a statue, she is a, 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 uh, there is a coldness and a uh, lack of formation, a lack of character in herself. And this is the original mask, the mask of adolescence, the mask of uh, uh, noble adolescence, if you want, the uh, animal mask. Now, here is a mask of uh, a leering teenager who imitates comic strip characters, or, let me see you again, very good. The, uh, you notice the, this is an American mask, this is a... <laughs> <laughs> I see American in it, yeah. A, um, the typical, the essential thing of the American mask is the disappearance of the nose. The nose oh. being, uh, in reality, a very, uh, um, 
um, eloquent part of our body. Why does the nose disappear in a mask? People don't like their noses. The nose tells too much. The nose is the only part of the body that still remains anti-social. Uh, the nose reveal exactly who we are. The eyes have learned the, all the tricks of conversation, and of hiding, of misleading, and so on. Also the mouth. <clears throat> the mouth laughs and smiles for no reason at all, mm -hmm. out of politeness. But the nose is the only static part in our body. 